Now, I was given a book recently which really caught my attention. It's a fabulous book, and it's a book of moving patterns by a man called Tim Armstrong. And the book is full of lots of different patterns. And inside, you get this cellophane like this, which has lots of different lines drawn, equally spaced apart like that. And when you put it on the book over here, you can see that there are lots of different patterns made up of lines and if you put it on top like that you can see just look at that isn't that fabulous it's actually an optical illusion it's a trick of the eye because the lines on the page are disappearing and reappearing from behind the black lines on the cellophane it really is absolutely fantastic and with this idea I've been working on my own patterns but you have to start off with a piece of cellophane and you need to draw lots of lines on this cellophane. It's really worth taking the time to draw the lines very, very carefully with equal space in between. You need a ruler, you need a permanent pen, and you just need to keep on drawing. I used a piece of graph paper underneath to make sure that the lines were equally spaced apart. And once I did that, I then wanted an image that would have some sort of movement. So take, for instance, a bird where the wings go up and they go down. So that's two movements. And with that in mind, I started working on a picture. Now, I've got a thin piece of paper so that I can see the cellophane through. And a very simple shape for a bird would be like this. This would be the up movement, like that. And then you would have the down movement, like that. And then here you'd have another one, up movement, like that, down movement, like that. Take a pen, the same pen that you use to draw your lines on the cellophane, and then away you go. What you want to do is, for the up movement, you put all the marks on the black lines that are on the cellophane, like that. So you've got the up movement, there we are, on the, keep it as accurate as possible, on the black lines. And then the down movement, you want to put where the spaces are, the clear spaces, like that. So you've got the two separate movements the up movement on the black line and the down movement in the spaces in between on the white lines. So you can do the same up here as well. Up movement like that. I'm doing this very quickly, but you can do it in your own time like that. So you've got the up movement, there we are, on the black lines and then the down movement in the spaces in between. Yep, that seems to work quite well, there we are. And then just fill in the black spaces to make it look more like a bird. And then some clouds, maybe. I think one down here would look rather nice. And then you can see how it works. So take your cellophane out from underneath. And if you put that on top, just watch this. There we are. You can see it immediately. Look, it really does look like the birds are flying. Look, and if you get the right speed for moving the cellophane across. It's quite unbelievable, isn't it? And of course, once I started this, well, I went on from there. I got, well, look at these ones. I think you're going to like these. I've got a very creepy one here. Look at this exactly the same way. Isn't that horrible? Look at it, it's an ant. It looks so creepy. And I've got one over here that I think you might like. I like this one. Look, it's a talking man. His eyebrows are going up and down. He's definitely talking to us. Just fantastic. And you can go on, do as many drawings as you want. Why don't you have a go? Margot, yeah. if our television sets to get any better, I'm going to have to move the aerial. Yeah, I'll check the picture if you point the aerial, yes, OK? Yes, right, right. Right, Tony, if you just 
Why don't you try moving it up a little bit? Up. Yes. Up, yeah. No, no, down, down a bit. What about further out? No, it's no okay. Good. Further out. Further. Further, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Can you get any further? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, don't move, Tony. That's it. Till next time. Goodbye. Bye. Gosh, I hope she isn't watching Gone with the Wind.